Hello. Welcome on back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. With us today, I have a dear friend of mine by the name of Celine, whom I've known since I was probably seven years old. So this is such a full circle moment to have her with me on my channel. On her to compliment her natural beauty, I'm gonna be creating an everyday, refreshed, uh, simple makeup look that I think many of you will enjoy. And I'm doing this all in partnership with City Beauty. So without further ado, if you wanna learn how I create this look right here then keep on watching so to begin I'm using the City Beauty Advanced Action Sculpting Cream to prep our model skin with for looks such as the one we're creating today it all starts with skincare and really getting the skin prepped for the foundation and the powders that we'll be using so I find this cream does a, a fantastic job at getting the skin hydrated and plump I recommend this cream for those of you who are looking for something that you can use on a daily basis that helps the skin appear more sculpted and firmer and um, <laughs> I was gonna say spring is springier a word I don't even know but you know what I mean it gives that that springy plush look to the skin which I find works beautifully on my clients who have mature skin so once I have this massaged in I'm then going to take the city beauty lid lifting treatment and use this to spot treat around the eyes now I do want to say less is more with this product but what I find this does is it kind of smooths out any of the delicate fine lines around the eyes and and from a makeup standpoint, really, I notice it helps concealer and eyeshadows from creasing up throughout the day. So this, along with the cream that we just use, is absolutely worth looking into while City Beauty has their sale going on. It starts today and it ends on Friday. With the code SPENCER, you can get 15% off those products. And even better, they're offering buying one, get one free of their City Lips glosses, which you'll see me use later on in the tutorial. And yeah, I'll put that information down below. But in the meantime, now that we have the skin prepped and glowing, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Hydro Glow Foundation and applying this on with a brush, really pressing this into the skin. What I've been enjoying about this foundation is that it's super lightweight. It offers that glowy skin-like finish and it feels nice too. I think that's important to mention. We get so caught up in how a product looks and how it um, you know, wears throughout the day, but how it actually feels on the skin is just as important. You know what I'm saying? And in my opinion, it doesn't feel like you're even wearing a traditional foundation with this, so to speak. It just feels like you're wearing skincare. But also in saying that, this is not a foundation I'd recommend building up to become full coverage because just like skincare or a moisturizer, the more you add on and layer, the heavier it becomes to look and feel. So less is more with this. Now, moving right along, I'm taking this Say Sun Melt Cream Bronzer in the shade Medium Bronze and pressing this into the areas of the skin I wanna add some warmth and dimension to, such as the cheeks, the jawline, and forehead. I wanna point out here, you'll notice I'm not dragging this product on. I'm instead, little by little, pressing the product and building up the pigment I want because really, I'm not using a whole lot of this product, which is quite important when working on more mature skin. First, we wanna make sure the products we're using are hydrating, but also using small amounts in thin layers is key to getting a beautiful, soft finish that doesn't look heavy or cakey. And this is a perfect example of that. Our model today, Celine, is naturally a gorgeous woman and she has incredible skin. So I want to complement that with the right products and the right techniques. Once I have this applied, I'm using the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Concealer and using this to conceal around the eyes. I think the shade I'm using here is 12 Rosy Light or 12 Light Rosy, something like that, but I'll find out for sure and I'll list it down below uh, along with everything else I'm using today, of course. But this concealer formula is amazing for those of you who do not like using a lot of powder around the eyes because there's something about the way they created this formula where it, it just doesn't crease. Well, I don't know, I shouldn't say that. I take that back. All concealers eventually crease, even the ones that claim they're creaseless, but I do think this House Labs one is one of the best on the market in terms of performance. 
Now I'm gonna conceal the other eye off camera and then use this Patrick Ta Beauty blush in the shade just enough to add a pop of pink onto the cheeks. Keep in mind there's both a cream and powder blush in this product, so for this step I'm using the cream blush and I'll later come back and use a powder blush to intensify it. Next up, I'm taking this Givenchy Prism Libre Loose Setting Powder and using this to set the concealer into place along with the T-zone area as well. So here's the thing. Everyone is gonna be different. I personally always use powder on clients, whether they're 10 years old or 110. It, it doesn't matter to me, but you'll notice here, I don't use a lot of powder and I don't apply it everywhere either because it truly is all about the placement and also the quality of powder. Using something that's you know super finely milled. This Givenchy one is, is fantastic. Makeup Forever makes a really great one as well. Um, I mean, there's a lot of good ones on the market, but powder and skincare are the two things you should really spend your money on. Foundation, mascaras, brow pencils, all that you can save your money on and find in the drugstore. But powder and skincare is where I recommend splurging a little if you can, because it, it makes a world of difference. So moving on to brows, I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Medium Brown and using this to shape and lengthen the tail of her brows. Celine really already has some incredible brows, so I don't want to get too carried away with this. Just a little product here and there before brushing through the product and following up with a clear brow gel. The one I'm using here is from MAC Cosmetics. It's, you know, it's, um... <laughs> It's not that great to be honest, but you're welcome to use any clear brow gel that you find works for you, or better yet, kind of referencing back to what I was saying a moment ago, a clear brow gel would be a great product to pick up at a drugstore for cheap and cheerful. Now I am gonna complete the other brow off camera and then use this shade from the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette to begin on the eye makeup by blending this across the complete upper lid. Nothing too complicated or intense, just a wash of color to kickstart this look. Next up, using this shade here from the same palette, I'm strategically placing this in the crease before I head back to the blending brush to diffuse this out. This is one of my favorite tricks to add dimension to the eye shape and make them appear you know, a bit more open and awake, almost like we're contouring the eyelid, creating those shadows. And I'm sticking to a warm browns for this today just because I feel like it's safe, especially for an everyday look like the one we're creating, but you can use this same technique for any color you'd like. So let's say you wanna create a dark smoky eye, you could sweep a gray eyeshadow across the lid and then use black in the crease. Or if you wanna use purple, then maybe use um, like a lavender across the lid and then a deep plum in the crease so you can really have fun with it and it's pretty quick and easy too also as you saw there i've run that shadow across the upper lash line and also through the lower lash line here to give it a more subtle smokiness afterwards is when i take this one size brown eyeliner pen to further trace her upper lash line I think this polishes off the look and defines her beautiful eye shape, but without looking too, you know, like, you know, too harsh, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes the standard black eyeliner can be a little much, especially when pairing it with a smoky eye. So I think using brown just reads softer, especially for an everyday look. For mascara today, I'm using this Thrive Cosmetics Tubing Mascara and running this through her upper and lower lashes. This is actually the mascara that Celine uses every day, so I, yeah, I figured, you know what? It's been a minute since I've used it, so let's go for it. And it really is a beautiful mascara, especially if you're looking for that lengthening effect. So I'm gonna complete the other eye off camera and then head over to this Patrick Ta Beauty Blush, but this time in the shade She's the Moment. So remember earlier we used the cream formula of the pink blush and now I'm using the powder formula of this more peachy tone blush and dusting it right onto the apples of the cheeks. After this, I'm using the highlighter from the same face palette and popping this onto the highest points of her face. And I know some people are gonna say that you shouldn't use highlighters or shimmers or whatever on mature skin, but listen, sometimes 
you just got to throw those nonsense rules out the back window and do whatever you want because I personally love it and it brings out that inner glow. By the way, you'll notice on the waterline, I used a brightening eyeliner pencil. It's from Tarte Cosmetics. I'll list it down below, but uh, yeah, I, I didn't want you to think I was pulling a fast one. <laughs> I just forgot to capture it on camera earlier, so... Yeah, moving right along, I am using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade On Mute to trace the lips and to add a wash of color before applying gloss. So a tip I have for those of you who may have those delicate fine lines around the mouth and are experiencing your lipstick bleeding is to instead use a matte liquid lipstick because this kind of formula completely dries down and stays put so it doesn't bleed. And then if you want the shiny finish you get from a cream lipstick, you can add a little gloss on top which I'll show you by taking the City Lips Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Pink Nude and adding this right on top creating the perfect everyday neutral lip and this is that lip gloss I was talking about at the beginning of the tutorial that you can get during their BOGO sale. I love this shade I'm using here but I also 1000% recommend their clear plumping gloss as well because it's super versatile and you can use it with anything so to finish off, I'm using this Milk Hydro Grip Spray to set this makeup into place, making this the final step in how I created this everyday look on our naturally beautiful model. I hope you all enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out more of my work on my Instagram at Painted by Spencer. And until next time, I'll see you soon.